Grand Wayview, the podcast that tries to explain science fiction with actual science, maybe. My name is Simon. And I'm Jeff. So today, we're going to actually steal an idea from Story Break and do breakfast cereals. We're going to try and explain the mascots to breakfast cereals. And... And Jeff, you have to help me out here because you were an actual child of the 90s while I was not. Okay, yeah, there lies the problem is I was never really a sugary cereal sort of fellow. I mean, my favorite cereal since I was a little kid was Raisin Bran. Which I is... mean, I've been <laughs> leaning towards shredded wheat, but it's not quite oh, Raisin Bran Oh man, bad. shredded wheat is delicious. Boy, we're old. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like, but like, you saw the commercials. Like, I was trying to figure out what the honeycomb mascot was, and oh, was it a bee? It, it it was. Is he a bee? He's not. He's a marsupial. Wait, honeycomb ASMR? Oh, that's weird. Google, Google, what are you doing? Oh, what? There's honeycomb ASMR, but there's no banjo tui ASMR. That is. <laughs> That is wrong. Oh, no, it just looks like people doing weird things with honey. Never mind. Oh, oh, that sounds way better. Cereal. Okay. So it's like the actual honeycomb, <laughs> like the thing you use? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so to start this off, uh, sorry, I had to think. Oh, what that. the hell is that? To start this off, the first thing we're going to tackle, Tony the Tiger, the right. anthropomorphic well, tiger. <laughs> yeah, what? He doesn't like, have any special abilities. Exceptions are remaking, like well, 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 well tr- anthropomorphized animals. How are how how do you make them? Are this. they are they robots? Are they? Oh, they're all just terrifying animatronics. Uh, yeah, are they are they genetically engineered? I I I lean towards genetic engineering because then you can you can get a little bit like improvisational feel out of Tony the Tiger while he's like doing stuff like the it's great that that line i feel like it's just total improv from a sentient creature i mean (laughs) i don't know if it would be improv i feel like if it's genetic engineering to create a sentient tiger to create the sentient tiger uh who was it kellogg's like the company was like we own you you belong to us yeah. Look how great this cereal is. Let like make sure everyone knows. Yeah. So that's so, not improv. Uh, but well, that's what I'm saying. I, no, no, I mean that line was improvised. I believe that Kellogg's genetically engineered a bipedal talking, thinking. Ti- no, well, obviously tigers think, but like higher <laughs> function thinking tiger. Uh huh. And then kept him. He just, they, all they do. They keep him in a room, and all they mm-hmm. do is feed him frosted flakes. So only he, frosted flakes. Like frosted flakes. Well, that and, definitely wouldn't be improv, though. But like, the only other thing he gets is like <sighs> nails to, to eat. go with the frosted flakes. So he thinks frosted flakes are like the best thing ever. And so, uh, if you they put him for the camera, only eat a one single thing. No, no, no! I'm saying, I I'm saying. I do not believe you would think that's the best thing ever. You, you missed, you missed my comment. I think he only is allowed to eat frosted flakes and then like nails or something that's inedible. And gross. Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't listening when you said that part. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not fine. Gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's that's how I think you get Tony the Tiger. I mean, I mean, unethical. I yes. feel like. Oh yes, very unethical. <laughs> but I feel like. I don't like look at him. He's he would definitely question his uh his living standards. But, uh, but plus he's had... a tiger. He would like just bite and scratch and eat his way out of confinement. So you think robot? Not necessarily robot. It could still be genetic modification, but with like being based on a tiger, he and like the intelligence of man, he would be just, like the most dangerous game, and would absolutely get out. Huh? That they is... could not contain oh. him. 
That is a horrifying, especially because like it, that's like a Frankenstein esque thing. Like the whole thing with Frankenstein is that he doesn't have a companion. Tony the mm-hmm. Tiger is the only human intelligence bipedal tiger in the world. <laughs> he would go mad. Yeah, and and he suddenly has like opposable thumbs. I think so. <laughs> so like, it's uh, like yeah, Frankenstein like it. to an extreme. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's a horrifying proposition, and I agree. I think that's what he is. That makes total sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that, we they 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 must like satisfy him by just feeding him meat all the time and giving him power, and that's why he's one of the only mascots <laughs> that hasn't power. gone away because he just kills everyone who suggests that he goes away. Uh, well, yeah, because he's been around for a long time. <laughs> At least, like, 20 years. I mean, there have been other mascots that have been around for a while, no? Yeah, but not, like, as present. Like, like the Kellogg's Chicken has been around it's for, like... Kellogg's Chicken? Yeah, well, that's the... Or General Mills. What are they? I think it's Kellogg's. Like, their mascot is a chicken. Oh, sure. It's like that chicken oh, that's, yeah. like, yeah. Anyway, so, Tony the Tiger's figured out. Nailed it. <laughs> we did. Nailed it in one. Next one, Toucan Sam. The toucan that can smell Fruit Loops. If you remember, birds, not especially good smellers, I do not believe. <laughs> you, you just just look at those beaks. Yeah, I mean, but like... The clear nose and olfactory senses <laughs> they have. Clear smellers. Uh, <laughs> look at just, all that brain Just look at them sniffers. Well... Are we saying genetically engineered again? Well, also, uh, well, what... actually, it is another Kellogg cereal, so they might just have <laughs> just a uh, <laughs> uh, facility for their genetically engineered mascots. Huh. You know, I agree, and he's kind of like faded out, and they've like had to introduce new things to him because he's not a tiger. So he can't kill people. <laughs> wow, that's, that's really true. So do you think that they gave him the ability to smell Fruity Loops? Or that two cans just naturally have... Inherently it, have... But they just the haven't cared to, to until... Smell Loops. Yeah. Until they've gained sentience? Yeah. <laughs> you know. I feel like they must have been experimenting with additional powers. Like, Tony the Tiger was such a great success. They needed something else, something new. Uh, a toucan that can smell real good, right? It's true. I mean, I mean, imagine the implications for drug enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> you could smell weed from the sky, man. There's just going to be so many toucans around Eugene, just... Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm actually fair with. I I think we should just assume all yeah, any anthropomorphic Kellogg's anthropomorphic animal <laughs> mascots are from their you know, the facility. You know, or maybe maybe it's it's Tony the Tiger is looking for a companion, looking for a minion, and all Kellogg's can give him is it's a, a toucan. Is a toucan. Well, that's a bad minion. He's just gonna fly away. Uh, yeah, but the, the, like that's what bonds them together is that they're these unholy matrimonies of man and, and animal. <laughs> they <laughs> they only have each other. Yeah, but they still hate each other so much. Yeah. Oh man, this would be a great book. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, speak for yourself. I would read that book. That sounds phenomenal. Uh, Frankenstein. I Frankenstein I was boring. Frankenstein was a tiger. Okay, yeah, that that's true. <laughs> Frankenstein was poor. Okay, I, I I think we've solved those two. I didn't realize we were going to get two and one. 
Yeah, well, we're going to have to be careful when we publish this episode so that big Kellogg's doesn't come after us for exposing them. <laughs> or or stealing their trademark with, it's great, maybe I'll just bleep that out. <laughs> just say it a couple more times. I'm sure they're not uh, uh, litigious. I'll just bleep it out. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just in different places every time. Uh, is Lucky Kellogg's? Um... I feel like Lucky. Oh, I feel like Kellogg just has all the best. It is not. It is General Mills. No, wait. It's not. It is. Uh, Lucky Charms is General Mills. It is. It is. Okay. So Lucky yeah. Charms is General Mills. So now we'll just explain Lucky. For anyone who doesn't know who Lucky is, he is a very short humanoid creature. Magical powers to create marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're assuming, what is it Isaac Asimov who said any technology that's sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic? Mm-hmm. So we're assuming that is the explanation for his magic, is that it's really... Just super advanced future tech? Yeah, but like, what kind of future tech would that be? Are we saying in like, Lucky is well, actually... Clearly the... Marshmallows are nanites, right? Oh, oh, that could be self-replicating nanites, like like nanites, mm-hmm. or or maybe they're the byproduct of nanites, like nanites that consume organic material and only excrete hardened marshmallows. Sugary marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then, like, what would they be consuming? I mean, like, can, I mean, he just like makes that. In the well, well, like, I'm assuming and I don't see background stuff just falling apart. Lucky might just have to eat stuff, and he is the one who creates the marshmallows with the nanites that are in no, his he body. Is... Okay, so it's just like one real unfortunate fellow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he's like terrified that these children are going to steal his lucky charms because he's like. Those are the nanites. Like, maybe the nanites are keeping him alive. Maybe he has, like, some, like, horrible, horrible disease. And he's kept alive by nanites that excrete marshmallows. <laughs> Which he then must consume himself. <laughs> I should put a caveat on this. That this is not science fiction. This is just <laughs> cereals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I am fine with that. I was going to say, because... He also has rainbows, which visible light. Mm-hmm. He is a nuclear reactor, and he is generating the atoms and turning well, them into marshmallows. No, that's two very different things. I, I agree. Okay, yeah. But, okay, like that's that's that was my first thought. Yours is way better <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, like, but I mean, you do bring up a good point. Is how does that? How do the nanites explain the rainbow? The, the rainbow. Exactly. I, I, I think I'm going to go on a limb here and say the nanites are that that's how they identify themselves and communicate with Lucky because they can't communicate directly with his brain. Right. So how do you know? How does he okay. know this, their status? So they, they kind of give him color coded messages for which variety of nanite and how they're doing. And, like, what he needs to present to them? Like... Yeah. Well, because... Is that what the communication is? Yeah, well, I assume... I mean, if he's feeding them, and he's keeping them alive... Mm -hmm. We're back to... Like... (laughs) We just make everything sentient. It's sentient nanites. (laughs) Sentience just solves so many problems. That's all it is. (laughs) I don't know if it would be... But like, yeah. like sentient nanites, though. Uh, okay, I mean, but like, I think I think they're definitely communicating him with him through visible spectrum. Mm-hmm. And it's probably like, uh, wait, 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 Roy, how many how many visible colors Roy are there? Are uh, right, ro- several: red, orange, green, blue, indigo, violet. Oh, but indigo is no longer one of them, or violet is one of them. So that's that's a six. That's like a six bit system. Instead of an mm-hmm. 8-bit system. So that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe they... But you can't do that with a... But, so there's probably, yeah, like, I two also, other I don't think there would be any communication, though, because it's always just the same rainbow. 
but like there aren't any colors that are more. But that's what I'm saying. Lucky pronounced than the others because Lucky has been going for so many years. He knows. Like how to, he's just got it dialed in. Yeah, like he really does. He got it tuned in. It's all. It's green all the way, all the time. People, his nanas are like, <laughs> we are happy, dude. You've been feeding us, and we are producing, and that's why you know the marshmallows don't change. Have they not changed? I don't believe they. I changed definitely thought they've lot. changed. And not. I mean, they changed shape a little bit, but I mean that's going to be. Uh, assuming that they are just within standard of error for nanite production yeah because they have to keep on producing new nanites and there's going to be errors within those (laughs) duh (laughs) clearly (laughs) you were nervous about this episode i think this episode is going great (laughs) (laughs) so god we got kellogg's has only anthropomorphic Um, creatures (laughs) Stored in the facility. In the in the facility, <laughs> and then General Mills has an escaped, uh, fatally ill <laughs> researcher. Yeah, who is <laughs> running around with advanced nanites that poop out marshmallows in his body. That. Did we ever figure out why he needed to keep them? I think I think that's what I was saying. Like like I think he's hiding the technology. When he's like he's like they're after me, Lucky Charms. He's not talking about the marshmallows because the kids always get the marshmallows. He's talking about the nanites. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like he's yeah, hiding I'll give it that to man. You. And and that's why I think like maybe early on they were sending like the nanites were sending him like more complex messages that were like you got to protect this man. They're after us. Look at how many marshmallows we'll make for you. Yeah. Infinite marshmallows all the way down. It's just marshmallows within marshmallows. But then why do General Mills have so many of the marshmallows? Like, is he just leaving? Oh, that's it. He can't let the kids get the marshmallows because he has to give them to General Mills? Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I think I So think, they don't take him back. I think the marshmallows are not what he's hiding. I think I think General Mills has been chasing him and I mean he is running and trying to keep marshmallows from the kids. Yeah. And General Mills does definitely have those marshmallows. That's true. So maybe it is it's General Mills who's not he's not hiding it from, but maybe it's the kids or like a secret organization that's trying to replicate these nanite processes that they can get like nanite material or that they send kids after to to acquire who better who 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 is more or sorry less conspicuous than a child you don't look at a child and be like that guy's probably a secret agent who's looking for nanites inside of a <laughs> i do think a lot of them are shady though i agree but like who's gonna believe you you can't even try them they can't even be tried as adults they're tried as minors so even if they get found out that's true yeah it's like it's mk ultra man MK Ultra is that the is that the the gang that used children because they couldn't be there's a lot of gangs that use there's it's a cow <laughs> yeah just abort that it's not MK Ultra MK Ultra is the CIA no MK Ultra is yeah. definitely not what you're wanting no I'm looking for uh, whatever the gang is that's from Mexico that keeps on MS13 there you go MS13 I get those oh my god that is very different than MK Ultra. <laughs> It's it's like it's like gangs using children because they cannot be tried as minors. That's what it is. Well, the children have to be tried as yeah, minors because they are tried as minors. Sorry, that's what I think it is. That's why I think it's always kids after him. <laughs> you know, I think we did that. Well, that, that was, doesn't that was explain a good why is he. <laughs> <sighs> it's, why is he like not? ancient now though like he's it's just the, pretty the nanites keep on regenerating him man they're 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 not meant to be producing marshmallows they are meant to keep him alive that's just the byproduct that's just the okay. byproduct that's what i'm saying yeah i see okay yeah you got it you got it now sure yeah i'm i follow you lucky is a god among men and just because he generates so many marshmallows <laughs> and is an awful stereotype yeah and is an awful stereotype of <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right what is your next abomination i'm gonna go let's do let's do two and one because i think i have an idea for both of them the tricks rabbit mm-hmm. 
and Crazy Craving, which is the honeycomb, what we thought was a bee, but is a marsupial. <laughs> that thing is terrible. It is. That's definitely not a bee. It's. I do not have a clear recollection of this. I also thought it was a bee when I saw it. It looks kind of like a just a messed up bumblebee. Because it's really furry. No, it's not even that. I just like... I must have repressed any memories of these commercials <laughs> because this is terrifying. So horrifying. <laughs> yeah, you know, you'd be wa- up 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 at six o'clock on a on a Sunday because it, it wasn't school there, so you were willing to get up at six o'clock and be watching your Power Rangers, and you'd have the honeycomb thing come mm-hmm. on, and it would be it it is legitimately terrifying. However, yeah, I believe that however that these are. Post Tony the Tiger anthropomorphic experiments, but like this is after they've gone too far. Yeah, oh no, 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 kind of. So this is when they like they made Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger got drunk with power. Tony the Tiger now is like a god among men. Oh, wait, Tony the Tiger is now the kingpin of this. That's what I think. I think. I think they they realized that he was too difficult to control. Like they they can satiate him, but they think that that it's <laughs> it's it's difficult to. Like, obviously, because he's, okay. he's a tiger. He's, he's mm-hmm. going to become Frankenstein at some point in time in his life cycle, and they know oh, it. Oh, but wait, Honeycomb is post, though, no? Oh. Like, that's a well, different... But maybe group. that's it. Maybe they're trying to replicate Tony the Tiger, but control them this time. Either way, it still works. I believe that these are creatures that they have gotten addicted to methamphetamines. Oh, like clearly, yeah. Oh, yeah. This creature is addicted to methamphetamines. <laughs> That's no question. And like, but same with the tricks rabbit. They put it inside the cereal, and then they gave it to their anthropomorphic, ungodly creation. And and that's why the honeycombs rabbit and the tricks. Sorry, the honeycombs. Well, yeah. Whatever. But now we're getting into different companies again. Like that's, honeycomb that's is a third company. Tricks is back to they're trying. To, General they're Mills. trying to replicate Tony the Tiger. They're like, we see that guy. We want. Okay, him. they're trying to copy him. Yeah. I see. I see. But they're like, we don't want to like. We don't want Frankenstein. We want right. well. We can General Mills did a way better with their uh, tricks. Terrifying homunculus that they've created because. <laughs> uh <laughs> Terrifying. Post did like a real bad job with Crazy Craving. I, I agree, but that's why I think I think Post posted the worst job. That's why Crazy Craving is like a, an amorphous blob of a mammal. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the Tricks Rabbit, however, is like, all right. But I think both of them were are being controlled by their addiction to amphetamines that were put inside of the cereals that they crave so much. Okay, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so now we have, like, a little narrative going on where it's, like, corporations against each other trying to, like, outperform each other. <laughs> right. And it also explains all of the methamphetamine addictions <laughs> uh, after those children did get those trick cereals. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think maybe even the Tricks Rabbit escaped, and, like, real Trick cereal doesn't have amphetamines in it. But he thinks it does. He associates oh, that high. Okay, yeah, that follows with the with the trick cereal, and that's why he mm-hmm. just gets more and more fervent for trick cereal. <laughs> and the kids are just denying him his high. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. What's the trick slogan? Is tricks is for kids? Tricks, for tricks kids. are for kids. Yeah, I, I think that. So meth is for kids is what you're saying. I, but I know, no, it's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that real tr- tricks in produce tricks, tricks that comes out of the factory. Okay. No methamphetamine. Tricks that is fed okay. to oh, the, the rabbit. The rabbit tricks were laced with methamphetamines to uh, prevent the tricks rabbit from becoming too powerful. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's that's exactly okay. what. That's precisely what I'm saying. <laughs> I think that is a solid gold explanation. We we're just we we're just pulling it out sure. today. This is this is so yeah. Good. No, we're we are on point. Uh, so the I only have two left. Uh, one of them is the monster cereals. Uh, which are like. Are you sure you don't want to save that for uh, Halloween? I mean, oh yeah, you know what? Let's save for Halloween. Let's hide it. Let's tuck it away. We will explain. Let's, we'll put a pin in that. Because there's so many of them that that is definitely its own episode. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. There are a lot. So for the last, like, three or four minutes, let's do Sunny the Sun. Sunny the Sun? Yes. This is the anthropomorphic sun that is on Raisin Bran. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I know of this at You just gotta... It, I don't think there's Brand. any background to him whatsoever. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. He is literally just a anthropomorphic sun. I just I looked up Sunny the Sun in Google Images, and I wish and we it had like was not the sun at all. Uh, well, no. Well, there, one of them is an album called Sunny War with the Sun. Yeah, uh, that's what came up for me. Did you get Razor Brand? Oh yeah, yeah there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, like, I wish there was a thumbnail to this podcast because Razor Brand it is a that's horrifying going to be image. It. <laughs> so. Here we go. Sunny the sun. We, I, I, I'm not saying mm-hmm. he is a sun. That doesn't make any sense. Suns don't have faces. Well, he, yeah, he can't possibly be a sun. But what is he? Are we saying that they tried to create like an anthropomorphic like lacrosse ball and they messed up real bad? <laughs> well, I mean, that'd be difficult because they're definitely not alive. The crossballs are not alive, is what you're saying. Right. I agree. So, like, that's a hard starting point, whereas, like, Tiger you just got, yeah. is a yeah. less difficult starting point. Yeah, you just throw some more genes in there, and poof, you got Tony the Tiger. It's not that hard. Guys. Just <laughs> throw throw some uh, some plasmids at it. Yeah, we got... Let, let some biology happen. It's like a bacteria. Yeah, we got CRISPR. Fine. Right. We could do this. <laughs> them lacrosse ball CRISPR genes. <laughs> <laughs> hey man i to this date i'm gonna take a flat earth stance on this to this date no scientist oh has rebuked my ability to genetically modify lacrosse balls theory and therefore it must be correct they're hiding something i feel like a good starting place to rebuke that is they don't have genes but can you prove that show me your experiment jeff I mean, do you want me to do, like, gel electrophoresis? Fluoresis? Jesus, Who's to say? Who's to say that... With a lacrosse uh, ball? Our our gel electrophoresis has only been calibrated and has only been shown to measure uh, animal genetics and fungi and plants, but not lacrosse <laughs> yeah, ball. Yeah, that... You're just using scooping. the wrong method. Okay, so we just don't... Yeah. Trust me. Comprehend I, I have the some, genetic material of lacrosse balls. Yes. I, I have some promising experiments that involve lasers uh, mm-hmm. that show that lacrosse balls have genes. And you have this uh, published in Nature, uh, right? Well, I haven't, I haven't conducted them yet, but they will be conducted and they will show that lacrosse balls have genes. Oh, and will be very peer-reviewed. Oh, 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 oh. They will be reviewed by my peers. The people who know the truth. <laughs> the rest of the community. <laughs> yes. A- anyway, so S- Sonny the Sun, what is he? I, I- uh, Not a lacrosse ball. That's fair. That's for sure. Okay, I'm fine with that. How about, I- and I'm looking at this and I think you can see it too, a sunflower. Yeah, I can go with sunflower. I can go with I sunflower started. too. Like I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and I like that. Are we saying anthropomorphic sunflower? I feel like is a little bit of stretch because he has a mouth and his eyes. Uh, also, like no other plant parts that we can tell. That's true. So what if? What if? And I know you've rejected this for lucky, but he is a sunflower that has the ability of nuclear fusion. <laughs> this one is hard. <laughs> yeah, no, this one is difficult. Um. Let's see. I need to. We like we need to go to square one. Yeah. So it. The cross ball doesn't have any. God, it doesn't have any proper body parts. It. Oh, that's not true. Wait. It has arms. No. Oh, I, you're right. It just has prehensile. I don't th- those aren't arms. They're just like prehensile. Like so, those aren't rays coming off of it. Those are just limbs. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <laughs> there we go. We solved it. He's an octopus or a decapus. Uh, is it consistent? How many rays he has? I I, I think it is. Um, no, it's not. 
<laughs> he has nine rays in that one in a, in like mm-hmm. an older version. Right. But I, that's what I would go. I would go Decapus. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a family of them. Yeah. There's a strain of Octopodes. Octopodes? No, it'd be Nonanese. Nine and ten is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, are we committing to the nine? Okay. I mean, I mean, it might be. It might be that there's also a strain of, of eight-legged eight sunnies. <laughs> Could be. And then we have octopodes. But we have... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, why are we saying octopodes? It's, it's octopuses, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, do I need to get back into my Flapapodia argument? Uh, no. Although we should definitely cover that on this podcast, where we do why uh, I'm going dragons. to need to dig up that uh, that article then, that journal. So, so we're saying Sunny the Sun uh-huh. is a decapus, which is a, a genetic variant, like six handed, mm-hmm. six fingered humans and five fingered humans, uh, a, a genetic variant of a, of a nonapus. Okay. That for some reason loves raisins and bran, and has that I, and can speak English. Well, well, the horrifying thing actually is, is that if this is a if this is an octopus, octopi have their mouths underneath them where like their private parts are too. Right. So this is like yeah, a, where they're everything. This is. is an octopus like flashing us and smiling Constantly. about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just real happy it's, all the time. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> this is this is we have devised a decapus flasher who is also offering us <laughs> delicious cereal. <laughs> I mean that tracks. I, you know I'm fine with it, and I, you know what? Yeah, I, maybe maybe the reason he's into bran and raisins so much is because he is he's not right in the head. I was gonna say he's constipated. Maybe he needs that fiber. You think? Or that regularity. Well, I think at this point he has too much fiber. You think he is too much? I but see if he only eats. Rice I don't think and bran. he only eats. It. I think he is like he's like uh like you know jelly juice that that like no. fake juice that whatever her name sells. It's it's a woman who like oh yeah, yeah I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like one of those like fake medicine things. I think that this is yeah. this is his fake medicine. I think he is an he's an uh, a decapus who is who got cured or thinks he got cured by raisins and bran put together, and he believes that they are some sort of medicinal. Who is cure. cured of his constipation? Yeah, and that's why he is so happy. That smile is the smile of a man who is regular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll buy that. Look at that! Look at that! We have explained Sonny the Sun. The uh, what did I say it was he was a decapus. Decapus. Yeah. I, I actually would go on and think for. I think the reason Sonny is like it's like the mascot and not an, another weird octopus thing is because mm-hmm. I think he's actually he's got a uh, like a like a recent genetic variation in him. So he's the only decapus, and everything else is a nanopus. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm going to go with. And he's not at the All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, it would just have to be multiple members of these species taking on the mantle of Sunny, because there are the nine and ten yeah. limbed versions. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying like the current one is like they saw a decapus. Oh yeah, the current one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll give. And you they were that. like that. We want that. That is our mascot. What says raisins and bran? Look at how many limbs that dude has. <laughs> <laughs> and really, or maybe he's just, I, you know, I, yeah, I want to lean away from the fact that he is, like, flashing us. We'll say that that, uh, that he is not no, composed like a really normal lean into that. I don't want to because his smile is too, it's... I know you don't want to, smile. but sometimes we have to look at these hard facts of life right in its everything I hole. I don't want to look at his face if that is this is my favorite cereal i do not want to look at his face if that is true you can separate like the cereal from the mascot the cereal <laughs> from the yeah that's fine uh i feel like you can't <laughs> not in that well, case it's not my fault you ruined your favorite cereal <laughs> I don't think by I looking did. way too deep into this rabbit hole <sighs> fine Anyway, 
So just to reiterate, for the world that we have created that accepts these mascots as real, <laughs> we have Kellogg has designed anthropomorphic creatures mm-hmm. that then inspired... And they're stored. What? In their yeah, facility. Yeah, stored within their facilities that they that mm-hmm. they use as mascots mm-hmm. to, to satiate their lust for... Uh, what's the word when people have big egos? <laughs> Egoism. Mm. To satisfy the egoism. Narcissism? Or narcissism. Either way. Yeah. Post and General Mills try to copy them, but control their <laughs> creatures by getting them addicted to amphetamines. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming both those have... I mean, we're not even doing the fact that Crazy Craving... I, it, actually, kids turn into him. He's like the alien from whatever oh, the movie is. Well, then... He's not solved. I, I don't. I didn't realize I, that kids turn into. It's him. so tough to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you, we're already we're already <laughs> almost five minutes over our deadline, man. <laughs> well, we'll go back. Honeycomb. Maybe we'll deal with him during has, the monster cereals. Well, he's clearly a monster. That's fine. Well, no, it's easy. It, they're all just um, bacteriophages injecting. Uh, crazy craving DNA into the children that consume it. There you go. And they all become crazy It's cravings. CRISPR gone wild. That's what it is. That's <laughs> the natural conclusion to of CRISPR. Of course. So we have, now we have crazy craving figured out again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, Lucky the Leprechaun is some kind of weird researcher that got inoculated with nano something. Nano, what is it? Nanites. 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 That yep. excrete mm-hmm. marshmallows and communicate using rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> and a clandestine organization using children because they cannot be tried, tried as, adults as adults in court as... for trying to kidnap yep. and steal uh, corporate information. Well, steal the marshmallows, kidnap the individual. Yes, of course. Okay. And right. the last thing is sign the sun is a deck of puss. That's constantly flashing. That's constantly you. flashing you, and really wants to give you his fake medicinal cure, <laughs> which is raisin <laughs> bran. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a successful episode. Yeah, no, I think we uh, <laughs> there are no holes. Not at all. Uh, any it's of these explanations. This is perfect science. I I don't know why other people don't do this. <laughs> I think it's because they don't want to deal with the emails afterward. <laughs> Probably. Because I know I don't. <laughs> That's why we don't have any social media. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Hope you can find us. That's it's a good episode. Uh, remember to like and subscribe us on iTunes. My name is Simon Kozik. And I'm Jeff Conrad. Uh, our music will hopefully be made by Joe Sobchak. I need to get on him about it because he said he would make it after Valentine's Day. And he hasn't. So that'll be fun. Well, Give him some time. Well, I was going to remind him so he could do it this weekend. Oh, yeah. okay. Anyway. I thought you were going to like, it's been eight oh, hours. Come it on. has been like eight <laughs> months since he said he was going to do this. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. I have noticed. Thank you for listening. I was going to say thank you for watching. Thank it's, you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your race and <laughs>